Okay, so um, what is Opihi? So as you know, Opihi is the name of uh, a native limpet that we typically find in the intertidal in Hawaii. It also stands for our project in Hawaii's intertidal, which is a citizen science project. Um, and it's also a teacher professional development project. So um, part of my job as program coordinator for Opihi is to work with teachers um, across all the main Hawaiian islands and train them in how to do citizen science them in um, how to identify species in the intertidal. So just like your teachers did some lessons with you guys to prepare you before you did your field trips, um, your teachers had to learn that too. And so I work with a group of people um, and together with the teachers we kind of we practice everything that you guys did on your field trips. Girls, can you tell us about the pizza, the pizza sampling project? What happened? So the pizza sampling project was we had to grab a piece without us looking at the pizza and there was different pieces and we had to think if there was many different pizzas or if there was one big pizza with different colors. And Tiata, what did your piece have on the, what did your toppings on your piece have? It had pepperoni, cheese, and a half of a sardine. Right, and Camby, what did you have? I had a uh, half of a sardine, pineapple, I think. Right, so girls, could you tell what kind of pizza we had, or was it different pizzas, like your first guess? Okay, my first guess was different. Yeah, mine too. Right, and then when Kung Adam showed you the whole pizza, were you surprised? Yes. yes. And so what did you find out from that? that you have to think, you have to have more. Hello everyone. Uh, thank you for coming to the uh, our very first OPG Symposium. Uh, we are the AP Environmental Science class and we'll be presenting to you our findings. Yay! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> I'm Matthew McClure. Stand in front of the screen, the computer screen. I'm Gabriel Devios. I'm McKenna Coffee. Hello, everyone. Uh, Fiona McGraw. And hi, I'm Brianna Lazar. So uh, we are all juniors and seniors, and we comprise Ms. Benport's AP Environmental Science class. And under Ms. Benport, We've been learning uh, various uh, environmental concepts and issues, as well as um, different economic, political, and ecological political views of the effects on the environment. So uh, before we present to you our findings, uh, we're going to have Nate here uh, give you guys some background information on some of the like terms and methods that we use to collect data in order to uh, better familiarize you guys with the um, some of the work that we did. So the first, our first, the first thing we need to know is what is species richness? Species richness is the, the count or the amount of different species in an area. And it usually gives an indication of biodiversity. The second thing was zonation. So zonation is basically different areas or zones which are defined by the physical characteristics of, that are found in, this, in, in, a, in a certain area. And it usually changes in salinity and differences in wave action and temperature. And the two main zones are um, the high intertidal, which is closer to the shoreline, which is farther away from the ocean, and is usually usually out of the water for a longer period of time. And there is the lower intertidal zone, which is farther from the shoreline and is in the water for a majority of the time. And in this area, you can find algae, fish, uh, sea, cu sea cucumbers, and um, I don't know if I said, but in this high, higher intertidal zone, you can find.